Hi, welcome back to Pony Power. My name's Matt. So this is kicking off a new video series um, on two-stroke geared bike engines. So here we have a, a KX250. This is a 19, well by the serial number, this is a 1998 version. Um, this is a 250 geared five-speed two-stroke water-cooled with a kip system which is Kawasaki's it's a Kawasaki integrated power valve system similar to Yamaha's power valve system and Honda and etc etc um, it's just their way of doing it so the whole point of this video and we're going to do this quick intro I'm just going to speak a bit about the video series and then we'll crack on with it so the whole point of this series is to show people how you pull out and it, you know we pulled this engine out this is the complete engine minus carburetor exhaust and pretty much a lot of the electrical system apart from the charging system the magneto because that's attached and part of the engine so what we're going to do is we're going to break this down literally from the top to the bottom we're going to split it completely apart and then we'll go through how to take things apart um, different parts of the engine what bits are called what they do and then we'll go on to design aspects as we go down through it now I'm not going to start every single video with an introduction of the way we are, uh, where we are and what we're doing because if you're watching this on a playlist on YouTube you kind of just want to watch it as a series. So instead of messing around I'll get rid of all the uh, rambling and rubbish right now as the intro to the, to the video. And the video is going to be about between 15 and 20 minutes long and literally I'll just cut them and then the next episode we'll be just continuing where that is or where we left off. And I'll just jump straight in. I'm going to say, hi, my name's blah, 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 and this is where we are. I'm just literally just going to carry on. So it'd be, you know, so when you're watching a playlist, it's not, oh, my God, here we go, another bloody intro, la, da, da, we can just crack on with it. Um, we're going to go through every single aspect we can. I'll try and bring you close in for bits and pieces. I'll put some information up, etc. Pictures, maybe, of certain things that you can't really see that well on the video footage. Um, this engine has been pulled apart already. Um, I've had a look at what the issues were and then before I was going to repair them issues I thought sod it will do this series of videos there's a few screws missing because that will just make it easy for me to pull apart um, you know I'm not going to show you exactly how to break down an engine to its components we're going to break down this engine and just talk about its individual components what things are called from the basic stuff to the quite advanced stuff all in one shot so we'll start the spark plug and we'll just do a, the first video will be just a general overview of what things are and what you can see from the outside and then we'll just crack on we'll go down 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 after I finish the repair I might do a maybe I don't know it depends how well this series of videos does because I'm wasting my time and there's no point bothering um, but I'll put the engine back together and show you how it goes back together and you might think it's a reverse but there are certain things that need to go back in a certain way etc etc um, and even though this is going to be a crossover, yes, we'll go through the clutch, we'll go through the gearbox, etc. And I know that I've already done clutch and gearbox videos and so on and so forth. However, this is for this series. So when I say, oh, in the clutch, this, that, and the other relates to this, you or a gearing inside here, you get a sense of the whole engine as a whole instead of just individual units like gearboxes and clutches. Them videos are done very well. Um, thanks for the comments if you have left them which because them videos have done really well really quickly that kind of led me the reason why I chose this engine is because a lot of people a lot of young lads just say you know they get the first motorbike or they get the first um, scooter etc and you, you obviously you might know that a lot of the videos are based around that is that this is quite a sophisticated engine even though this is from 1998 which is nearly a vintage engine this is quite a sophisticated two-stroke, so your little 50 and 80 cc's and even your little 125 moped scooter engines and whatnot are very basic. This is quite a sophisticated engine, when, especially with the, the kip system, which we'll go into on later on. Um, but there's quite a lot to this, quite a lot to this. The piston, the cylinder, etc. is um, quite a sophisticated design when it comes to the... Um, two-stroke engine build. So like I say, we'll go over as much as I know, basically. 
as much as I know about these things. Um, about the di design aspects, what things do, why they do them, how you can tell if something's broken or not, where marks, la da 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 da, we'll go through the whole thing, how the whole thing works as a unit, what connects to what, why it does that, and we'll go into a few other things. Um, well, you'll just see as we go along. So, the reason why I chose this engine is one, because it's a habit. Number two is because it's a good example of a complicated engine. Um, it's not so dependent, it is a carb engine, it's not so dependent on electronics and sensors and stuff. So it, it's more mechanical. Number two is, is that this engine is pretty much complete and it didn't have a um, combustion failure. It looks like it might soon have a combustion failure, but as it was stood, there was no combustion failure. This has a cracked um, crankcase um, right next to basically where the uh, oil drain plug is. So it's pissing out oil. The clutch is a bit slippy and a bit meh. Um, and we'll get to that as you know, you'll see some of the damage, not damage, but some of the wear that's happened to the clutch. You'll see the crack. I'll eventually do the repair and then we'll put it back together like I said. We'll see if we can go over a video. So, um, the next episode you will see will be the um, overview of the engine, what's what as you can see it. So if you're first coming to the engine you first want to pull out, you know, you want to pull out your first one, you know what's what. So when someone says water pump or when someone says head gasket etc, we're just going to quickly run over which bits are, you know, universally engine parts and which bits are specific to this engine because there's quite a few bits and pieces that are um, specific to the, this series of engines. Um, Alright then, so uh, if you're looking forward to the next bit then uh, I'll stick a forward one next here and I'll stick a back here and um, hopefully you'll, uh, I'll see you in the next video in a bit.